Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show how we can figure out the distance to the horizon uh, given that we are an observer on the top of the ball here and this observer has a certain height, h and what we want to figure out is from that height uh, how long is the line of sight to the horizon and by horizon, we mean the point at the surface of the Earth where the line of sight is tangent to the surface. And to, to show that, the length L, I'll draw some couple of helping lines. One is from the surface of the Earth, directly under the observer, down to the center of the Earth also known as the radius. And another line is also from the center of the Earth to the end of the line of sight, the horizon. And because the line of sight is tangent to the surface of the Earth at the horizon, and the radius here is perpendicular to the surface of the Earth, uh, we get a 90 degree angle at this point. So we have established a right angle triangle and we can use Pythagoras theorem to, to get some relationships between these numbers. This last line was also the radius r. And so writing this, writing Pythagoras theorem for this, we get L squared plus r squared equals r plus h squared. We can expand this and get r squared plus 2rh plus h squared. <clears throat> we notice that a couple of things cancel immediately. r squared appears on both sides. And like with the 8 inches per mile squared formula, we can make an approximation or an assumption. And we're going to assume, assume that the height of the observer, h, is much smaller than the radius of the Earth, r. And so what follows from that is that the term here, rh, is much larger than the term here, h squared. And so we can assume that h squared is effectively zero and we can disregard it okay so we change our equal sign to an approximation remember that and rewriting what we have found so far we get that l squared is approximately equal to 2 r h now i'm just gonna do a square root on both sides Get rid of the squared here, like this. And now we have a formula for the, the distance to the horizon given a certain observer height. This works just fine in metric. If you use numbers in meters, for example, it will all work out. If you want to use the common form of this equation, where we have the distance to the horizon in miles and the height of the observer in feet, we need to add some conversion factors, and I'm going to do that. And so the height, excuse me, the if we want the length to be in miles, I'm going to add the unit miles on both sides, and I'm going to bring the miles inside the square root. I'm going to get a two r h miles times miles inside the square root uh, but i'm also going to do something i'm going to introduce the foot unit because we want to express the height of the observer in in feet so i'm gonna inside here i'm gonna multiply by feet and divide by feet and what this lets me do is 
I can recognize that this, these two factors, are the number of miles per foot. That's a fixed number, right? That's just a definition of how many feet go into a mile. And this number, or this unit, we can now use together with the radius of the Earth. We can express the radius in, in miles. And this number, this unit of foot, we can use together with the height of the observer. So I'm just going to group them together to make it a little more, more clear. We have the square root of 2. I'm going to take the miles per foot to the front. Like this, and let's just mark those as spent. I'm going to take the radius of the Earth together with miles as the unit, and I'm going to mark those as spent. I can then take the height of the observer together with feet as the unit, and cross out those. We see that we have accounted for all the all the factors that we had, and so next step is to fill out uh, fill out each of the factors that we have values for. We have values for the miles per foot. We have values for the radius of the Earth in miles, but we don't yet have values for the height of the observer. That's up to whoever is using this formula to put in. And so, putting in the factors that we do know, we have square root of 2, 1 over 5, 2, 8, 0 miles per foot. We have 3958.8 miles. That's the radius of the Earth. And I'm just going to split up the the square root here. And we ha are left with the height of the observer in feet. Okay. Now we can plug in numbers into our calculator and figure out what this first square root is. And the result of that is 1.225. And we want to keep the units, so we end up with miles per root feet multiplied by the square root of the height of the observer in feet. And that's how you get. A formula for the distance to the horizon. Thanks for watching.